Okay, testing one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Testing one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, um, I'm back. My uh, son, grown son, took care of the cat feeding problem. I forget where I was. Um, anyway, talking about, uh, but yeah, I mean, Trump has thrown, and others have thrown up so much garbage about Biden that uh, why, you know, when you're trying to get somebody elected, why, why have to deal with that? Might as well get somebody that doesn't have all that. Uh, they like the Clintons uh, were investigated, you know, uh, for a year, an entire time before they, you know, before he was elected, they were investigated and they, nothing was found. But it, uh, I didn't think we should have run, you know, Hillary Clinton because why have to deal with that? You know, you already have X number of X percentage of Republicans who foam at the mouth and just think that, you know, so, so, and, uh, why go with uh, why go with uh, with Biden? Actually, Sanders. I'd like Sanders and uh, Warren. And if that would be a ticket, you know, say I wouldn't care which one was. Uh, although I think Sanders would be, would be better as president, actually. But uh, yeah, how about Sanders for president and Warren for vice president? The people with money. Uh, Democrat and Republican, but they would they would be especially like Warren. Well, both really. But so anyway, the uh, State of the Union address is tonight. Going to be an interesting uh, situation, you know, with uh, his impeachment proceedings going on and. Uh, I hope he doesn't mention anything about, you know, I, I hope that, that Trump is, I mean, I'm sure his people tell him, which, you know, remember too, that for eight years, Republicans, Fox News, everybody, anytime President Obama made a speech or did anything, they raved and ranted like he was sacrificing the uh, little babies or something because he used a teleprompter and that was just, that was a slur that they threw out at him that, uh, you know, President Trump made a speech last night about, he used a teleprompter, he used in us and Trump uses a teleprompter. Although I didn't think anybody could be as bad at using a teleprompter as uh, Trump is, but Trump is really bad at using it. But, and sometimes you could, you could tell here for the last three years that he had been told here it is. Read it off. And if he would just read it off the teleprompter, which sometimes, I don't think he very often did it. He just had to make some little uh, statement or something that he thought was, I don't know, funny or cute or really good or something, I guess, maybe that he had said he wanted in there and they didn't put it in or something. But it's terrible when he goes off the teleprompter really bad. So I hope that he reads the teleprompter and just stays on it for his sake. I mean, if, if I just wanted to be, hey, you know, let's let this guy, yeah, get off the teleprompter, just start talking, do your do one of your uh, your rallies or whatever at the uh, State of the Union address. Go ahead and do it. I mean, it's. I mean, his core supporters, thirty five, forty percent, whatever it is, yeah, they they'd like for him to do like a like his rallies are, where he lies nonstop and says horrendous, terrible, stupid things and whatever. But this is the State of the Union. And so I just hope he, that they you know, can read off the speech and talk about how great his wall is if he wants to, which is, since part of it fell down during a storm, not a very good idea maybe, but 
you know, yeah, read off his, you know, the economy is good and all this kind of stuff. It's not good because of the tax breaks given to the ultra-rich, which have now caused trillions of dollars of deficit, and uh, Trump and his, and his people are saying, well, now we have to, uh, you know, cut Social Security, cut Medicare, cut Medicaid, cut food for stamps, all that kind of stuff because of the deficit which they caused by, but whatever, if he just, I hope he just reads the but I never watch, I've stopped years ago, Democrat or Republican, I cannot stand to watch the State of the Union address. Because whoever's president, Democrat, Republican, or whatever, you know, you have the Congress out there, the president says something, let's say, the, okay, let's say, let's, we'll take the situation. Uh, Trump is president. So Trump says, oh, uh, we have to build a wall. And the Republicans just, oh, wow, the wall, they, you know. And the Democrats just, you have the entire, you know, Democrats just sit there. Then Trump says, oh, we have to stop foreigners from coming in and they're, you know, whatever. And the Republicans, well, they're not going to, they have to sort of, you know, oh, you know, give up, you know, whatever. And then uh, there isn't anything he can say that, well, but then the president will say, whoever the president, you know, the president in this case, Trump, Trump will say, we have to support our military, our brave fighting men and women, uh, guardians of the nation, red, white, and blue, God bless them. And Democrats and Republicans, are they will clap so hard that their hands hurt. But in general, it's, you know, and I just hate that thing of, what one party just, uh, I'm not clapping, and the other party is clapping like crazy, and then, but then of course the president, whoever it is, can throw in something, you know, hey, aren't mothers great? Mothers are so wonderful. Both sides clap, you know. Apple pie is wonderful. Both sides clap, but then, uh, so I just can't stand watching that. And then I hate the thing, too, of the putting the people up, and Democrats and Republicans both have done it up in the uh, peanut gallery up there, you know, and it'll be uh, a war hero and maybe a Congressional Medal of Honor winner. I mean, who's not going to applaud, you know, <laughs> applaud for a Congressional Medal of Honor winner or firefighters or policemen or whatever up there. But they put those people up there and then they throw in somebody, you know, but you still have to, you know, the human being, you know, and uh, sort of have to, you know, applaud. Uh, so I can't stand that. Makes me, I can't physically, I just cannot stand it. So um, then what I don't like is the camera work, you know. Well, one thing, you have the President of the United States making his State of the Union address, and sitting behind him, of course, is, you know, the vice president of the United States who supports the president. And, and in the, oh, the case of, you know, the current vice president looking at the president, looking at Trump like, oh, my God. Oh, please, I've just looked at, could you, you know, I mean, that's sickening. But then you have, when it's, you know, of a different party or whatever, then you have the, or the, or the speaker, whoever controls the house, you know, in this case, a you know, Pelosi or whatever, you have that person sitting up there and it's like, I would like to vomit on you, you know, whatever, whatever party it is, and, and it's just, I hate that. And then I hate the camera work where the president is going to say, you know, our, our men in the, you know, the Army, Navy, and the Air Force, and the Space Patrol or whatever Trump calls this new thing, which was a bad idea in every way, but I'm not going to go into that. But, you know, then the camera goes to the Secretary of Defense, and then it pans along with the generals and admirals that are sitting there, you know. And then the president will say something about how we have affordable housing for everybody. Well, this president probably won't, but affordable housing for everybody goes to the Secretary of uh, but 
housing or whatever, I can't remember. Anyway, and then we have the secretary of, you know, educate and the camera goes and it just does that kind of stuff. Now, I don't know, I just hope, I don't want it to look like, I don't want, I don't even want Trump actually, I hope he doesn't mention, I hope he can just stay on his teleprompter. And I don't think he will, if he comes off he's going to be, but it, I think that he is so impaired that it, I, I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if, if, if he doesn't do something, you know. I uh, hope they check him to make sure he's not armed when he goes up there. He may decide to, I mean, I think he really is impaired. And I had to deal for years and years with people who have. Uh, in fact, I, I mentioned this in another video. I, I worked for a guy who I thought was extremely, he was very smart, articulate, or whatever, but he was a director of security and he lied all the time. And, he, and I thought, why is he lying? And then he did, he had certain, and I had co conflicts with this guy, but I liked him. And I mentioned this before, which is, this doesn't reflect well on me, but he wrote me fantastic merit reviews. And I think that's one reason I liked him. I think that's one reason I didn't quit, you know. Uh, but I see now that, you know, because I, I saw a video where, uh, I think it was on YouTube, I believe, a psychiatrist was talking about <clears throat> how you should deal with people who has, you know, the type of problems that Trump has. And then explained, and then, I'm, then when I was watching this, I was like, wow, yeah, this guy I worked for for five and a half years and had the problems with, he definitely had the same thing except I think this guy I worked for, he, his, he wasn't as far advanced. But, uh, so, so I cannot watch the State of the Union. But I, it wouldn't surprise me if Trump didn't have some type of seizures, uh, some, you know, uh, come out, you know, pull up, pull up a, a tinfoil hat and put it on or something. I think he's that far gone. But uh, the other thing in the news is uh, Rush Limbaugh, a right-wing talk host who was like one of the first, well, not one of the first, but I mean, back in the 30s or whatever, we had a Catholic priest. I don't remember. I wasn't alive in the 30s, you know. I think it was during the 30s, before World War II, I think right before World War II. I think World War II sort of put a stop to him. A Catholic priest that was extremely popular and he was uh, extremist and uh, oh Rush Limbaugh over here. Rush Limbaugh, uh, right wing talk and he he wasn't one of well like I just said but very popular and uh, he knew how to do his thing. And uh, he's now been diagnosed with, uh, I guess, uh, advanced lung cancer. He was a cigar, cigar smoker. I don't know if he smoked in the past cigarettes and then graduated to cigars or whatever, but he has. And uh, he just announced, I think, the other recently, the other day, yesterday or something, that he had, uh, you know, advanced. And now today, Trump announces that he's going to award him the uh, Medal of Freedom. Uh, Trump, or uh, Rush Limbaugh, spawned a lot of these other imitators, you know, right-wing people, and they had to go, I think, further than even Rush, you know, Limbaugh. I mean, you had to, you know, Rush Limbaugh was like number one. And if you, you know, so, so a lot of the problem area that we're in, uh, and then of course, you know, you know, that was right wing talk radio on AM radio stations. Uh, but then you have, you know, the World Wide Web and 
Facebook and all this kind of stuff, which exasperated everything. But uh, I don't think we should be hating on Rush Limbaugh now. Uh, I, he's, I'm not a fan of his, and he did has caused an awful lot of the problems that we have. But uh, I really wish that Trump, of course, it, you know, Trump thinks it's just going to get him. He Trump's already got those supporters, you know. But I think Trump thinks if he, one, it's like sticking a finger in the eye of people who, you know, anti uh, Rush Limbaugh. And I think all the, you know, everything that Trump does is to make him look better, make Trump look better, and to, you know, get votes or get people or whatever. So the only problem, I, I just wish, you know, uh, that Trump wouldn't do this kind of stuff and do this, the Medal of Freedom or whatever, because a lot of great Americans have received the Medal of Freedom and, you know, it sort of degrades it if you give it to, you know, uh, somebody, you know, somebody else. I think the, you know, the, the Queen in, uh, you know, in England, you know, gives out all these, uh, you know, titles and that type of stuff. I think that's good. Uh, and I think that they are very, very careful when they do it to not cause problems, you know, like this and uh, re would refrain from giving it to somebody. But then, of course, what happens is you give a title to somebody and then 10, 15, 20 years later, that person turns out to be, I don't know, a child molester or rapist or whatever. And then, you know, you, and, but, uh, Let's see, it's, uh, no, I was thinking it was 8.20, <laughs> I mean, military time, uh, but it's not, it's, uh, I was looking at 20.20. Okay, let's see, and Trump will address the union. Trump's speech comes as the Senate is expected to acquit him. Trump gives his State of the Union. Four things presidents always talk about during the State of the Union address. Let's see, what would the four things be? How we love our military, although we send them into places they shouldn't, you know, things they shouldn't go into, but how, how much we love them. Uh, four things. I don't know. Oh, looking down here at the things. Remember, and during when Obama was in office, one of the Republican, uh, I believe a congressman, when Trump, when Obama was talking, yelled out to the president, "You lie!" and you know, everybody heard that. It was picked up, you know, on the microphones also. Uh, and that was so inappropriate. But now, you, you know, things are getting worse and worse. Uh, that was so inappropriate. Even the Republicans were, they said, that's, you know. But uh, he then sent out to people who donate money to him, he sent out a thing, you know saying that he had said that to the president and whatever, and I forget how much he made, money poured in from people, not just from his district, but from Republican money poured in. You know. So I, that's another reason not to watch this, because there can be some Republicans sitting there thinking, I didn't get much money. Well, of course, Republicans can't yell you lie to the president. I don't know, this is a really strange situation with having a president that is so bad and having him 
behave the way he behaves and with his arrogance and his everything, I don't think I could sit. You know, I, I don't think I could. I don't think I could be a Democrat and sit there. I mean, I, if I were a Congressperson, I think I just wouldn't show up, which is a shame. It's supposed to be, you know, the State of the Union and the whole thing. But what do you think? I I'm sure that Trump's people have told him, do not mention impeachment. Just do not mention it. Just go on about how you know how great you are and how you built great walls that blow down in a small storm and stuff, all this kind of stuff. But I don't know if he can stop himself. You know, Pelosi is right behind him. He's looking out and half of the people out there, he probably hates them and he knows they do not like him at all. The only problem is the other half, uh, especially like the Senate, they don't like Trump either, but they're afraid of him, terrified of him. Sort of like uh, in Iraq, oh, who was their leader? can't remember now. But I'm not sure if it's when he just when he took power or whatever, but he called together, you know, like their assembly or whatever, and with his security people and you know, locked the doors and the security people are standing there and then he he proceeded to you know, accuse them of treason and all types of stuff. And then, uh, and th this went on for hours. He did this for hours. And then he called out, you know, they're sitting out there shaking, scared to death because they know. And he called, he actually called out, you know, and security came and took them out. And they, I think almost all of them were killed almost immediately. Took them out. Maybe they could hear the gunshots. I don't know. That's, that's sort of the way Trump, you know, is, looking out at the Senate and they hate him. The Republicans hate him in the Senate. They might hate him more than the Democrats do, I don't know. But uh, They're sitting there scared to death, you know. Probably they're all, probably all the Republicans. Well, there's some though, that you know, especially the House. They're probably, some of them are sitting, why doesn't he tell the, you know, the news media that they are, you know, whatever, why didn't he, wanting him to do the same thing he does at his rallies. But I think that, especially the Senate, they're like, please stay on the, you know, if he starts to look away from the teleprompter, they're like, oh my God, please, please, you know, talk to it. So, anyway, I'm not sure how good this audio, I'm looking now at the place where the camera was. I just moved it. I have another camera hooked up, but I've got to go into the settings here and uh, anyway I am liking Ubuntu Studio and I think that I'm going, I know if you watch my videos for the <laughs> last few years you've, you've heard this before. You know. I go to uh, Chrome, a Chromebox or Chromebook or whatever that I hook up and, and then I, or I go to some version of Linux and then I go back the next day to uh, Windows. The way it would happen, it, it usually happens is I have Linux installed or whatever and then I'll be sitting here and there's something I need to do. I'll be like, wait a minute, how am I going to do that with, you know, because I have this great program on Windows that does that or does this or that, and then I owe to hell with it, you know. Anyway, I think that's it. The oh, I was going to show it. Yeah, that's what I sort of intended to do was to show you some of the. Well, let me do that a little bit and do all. Okay, over here on the side now, 
with Ubuntu Studio. Things on here up here at the left hand side. These are all the programs that come installed. Now some of these I uh, will go through and delete. But this time I'm going to make sure, like uh, ebook, you know, and that viewer and that kind of stuff. Or maybe I'll leave the viewer. I don't ever read ebooks, but but uh, here we're still just in the F's. Got to work on the uh, audio. There's a whole lot of audio stuff, and I don't really know. I'm not. I've not been a. Uh, much of an audio person myself. Don't know that much about it. You'd think all these years of, you know, when I started out, you know, 300 baud modem before the World Wide Web. Uh, I will remove Thunderbird Mail. I've got, you know, I'm using Google, Gmail, and what have you. This I'll have to check. Set up to see studio controls for audio and video and graphics. I need to check that out. Maybe I can do something about something about the audio. I hope that you're not going to tell me that oh, the audio is so bad. It's terrible. I know. I think I, I think it is. But I uh, hope because I've, I got it got to be pretty good. With, with my Windows programs. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and uh, I'm going to, as you can see, I have uh, three clips, I think, or is it four now when I stop? And uh, did I cover up the video? Oh, I think I did. Hang on a second. I think with this, I when I move something, okay, let's see. No, okay, I didn't. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hello, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is February 4th of 2020. Um, I am running Ubuntu Studio. I have removed Windows from my PC computer and I'm running uh, Ubuntu Studio. It's uh, a version of Ubuntu Linux, of course, but it's uh, designed to have all of when, when you download it, all of the programs and utilities and things that you need or doing something, you know, with graphics, video, uh, audio, uh, all that type of stuff. Now, there's might be something that's missing, which you can install, or there's a bunch of stuff that, you know, I positively won't need. I'm not going to delete them right now in case maybe it is something that I do need, you know. But... Uh, Uh, a couple of days ago, I purchased uh, oh, what the heck, I can't my hand tell you. I purchased uh, Ubuntu, no. I purchased uh, Zorin. Uh, Studio. And that was $40. And I installed it, ran it for about a day and a half. And then I decided to, I mentioned this in a video, I think this morning. Then I decided to do a dual boot with, uh, by the way, Zorin costs $40 for the studio version. But they have three or four versions, you know, that are totally free. You can download and then you could pull in the uh, editors and all that type of stuff that you would, would make it into, you know, studio. I paid the $40 for it. 
then I uh, decided I'd check out uh, Ubuntu Studio, which is the same type of a program for uh, people who want to do, you know, podcast or work with videos and all that type of stuff. And I actually tried to do a dual boot and I messed up the dual boot thing. So then I just formatted my computer and just put on Ubuntu Studio. So that's what I'm what I'm using, and I started using it this morning, I believe. And uh, so this is sort of a test. I have a feeling the um, the uh, by the way, uh, OBS is one of the programs that you can. Uh, I don't think OBS is having anything to do with the Linux version, but in Linux you have people who. Uh, work and do things and present things for all the different versions and uh, so I don't know who's doing the thing but they've got a <clears throat> a very decent uh, let's see let me show it to you here if I can find it it's on the desktop it just where is it here oops uh, if I do that it might be up here Well, I don't want to do something here that's going to, like I said, this is, oh, here it is up here. So let me minimize this so you don't have the confusion here. So this is OBS running, Linux version. Anyway, I, uh, I think I'm, the, the audio appears to be uh, right now the problem. I don't know exactly. So the audio is not going to be, I don't believe, as good as it has been with previous versions of, uh, or previous YouTube videos that I've made. So that's something I'm going to have to work with. Because um, it has so many options. There's Pulse Audio, there's ALSA Audio, all that type of stuff. So anyway, I'm... Uh, Usually by this time, I'm uh, usually when I do these things, uh, I go back to Windows because I'll uh, think, oh my gosh, I need that program or I need this to do this or that. I don't think that's going to happen this time. I think I'm committed. So I apologize for the audio and uh, some of the stuff I'm going to be doing for the next few days, I'm sure, is going to be, uh, you know, testing and trying out things and some things won't work right. Um, yesterday was uh, the primary up in uh, Iowa and it turned out really bad. They have a bad system anyway up there for their primary deal and it turned out even worse it turned out but uh, I don't even know anything I'm, he's a mayor right? I think he's a is he a Texas mayor anyway Buttigieg or whatever his name is uh, got 26.9 percent of the uh, delegates Sanders got 25.1 more in 18.3 percent Biden 15.6 percent and it looks like you know Biden is having problems and I can you know uh, Trump was has been successful I think it's my opinion you know just throwing up a bunch of crap I mean I think Biden is a great a great man uh, you know for a politician which what does what that you know but uh, I mean a really decent you know, great man. And, uh, but I think voters, I'm a Democratic voter, I think we're thinking now, okay, why, you know, why make him our candidate? Although he's eminently qualified, he's had, you know, years of political service and even vice president of the United States and, and uh, everything. No, there's an alarm going off. 
I've got to go feed a cat. I will be back.